King C. Gillette Beard Oil. This is a highly requested review video, and to get right into it, this beard oil is okay. It's not the worst I've ever used. It's not good. It's not anything I plan on ever using again. It's just okay. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background on this and all the details I believe you need to know in this short video, but even shorter, quick introduction. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Thank you for checking this video out. If you have not done either of these, please consider hitting a thumbs up on the video and subscribing to the channel if you like beard care. Shout out to those existing subscribers out there. So a little bit of background on this. I have covered this company before, Gillette, which is a Procter & Gamble brand. If you guys are aware, Procter & Gamble, this mass company that has an umbrella of brands underneath it. So if that's relevant to you, good or bad, I just want to make sure I throw that out there. I reviewed their Enrich line before, and I reviewed their Enrich beard oil. Barely can consider that an oil. That was one of the worst products I have ever used in my beard still to this day. Easily top five worst I've ever used. I don't recommend it to anyone in any situation. Well, they came out with this new line and it has this new fancy look, new, it's got a nice box to it, new fancy name. So instead of Gillette beard oil, it's King C Gillette. It's like, ooh, put a little bit, uh, a little bit of spice on it. But I looked at the ingredients and at least on paper, it seemed better. Now, again, I'm not saying great. I'm not even saying good, but it seemed better than what we had before. And I didn't want to try it. I didn't want to try it. And then it got to the point where it's like, okay, I need to at least give this a shot. See what it feels like for me so I can give my experience to you guys, maybe save some people money, or maybe it gives them something that is okay for them to purchase. So we'll break it down. Now, when I look in this, I got this on Amazon for just under $10. So $10 for an ounce, really fair price if it's a good quality product. Now, when we look at this, I'm gonna save the, the first ingredient, right? In terms of cosmetics, you need to list the potency in order. So the most potent ingredient needs to go first. The only exception is if there's a tie, then you can list them in any order. And then in the United States, fragrances are proprietary, so you don't have to list the individual ingredients for the fragrances. So I'm gonna hold off on the most potent ingredient and read you some of the other ones that we have. So some of the other ingredients after that would be avocado oil, oil, grapeseed oil, macadamia seed oil. We have evening primrose oil, argan oil. Uh, what else in here? Jojoba oil, fragrance oil, camellia seed, vitamin C. We have uh, peppermint oil. So when you hear that, it's like, oh my goodness, like they stepped up. There's some great ones in there. Some classics. There's some newer ones, some exotic ones. That's fantastic. But I did say I left off the first ingredient. The first ingredient that they have on here is soybean oil. I personally do not believe that soybean oil should be in a men's grooming product, especially something that is gonna to be topically applied and then transdermally absorbed, something that's gonna go in through the skin and the hairs as well. I don't think soybean oil is at all useful. It is for me, just my opinion, a cheap filler ingredient, right? If you're gonna make soap, what is an easy way to make a cheaper soap? Use soybean oil. With oil, as far as beard oil or beard butters or anything they're gonna to apply to your skin, soybean oil, may or may not harm it. That's up to you to decide. Some people have very strong feelings about men using soy products. I, I don't know where I fall on that. I don't have enough research. I don't have enough experience, but I do know that there's not a crazy amount of benefits. There's not a whole lot, especially when you look at the rest of this list, it's like, oh man, did they decorate and put these names on a list just simply to throw them on there? Especially when you see that uh, the fragrance or perfume is ahead of stuff like camellia seed, jojoba oil, uh, and peppermint oil. These different ones, it's like, oh man, there's left, less camellia seed, less jojoba, or at least even with the fragrance. And fragrance laws are pretty harsh in the United States of America. We use the IFRA. And so it's like, oh man, is there just a little teeny amount in there? How much is soybean oil? We can't can't tell the actual potency. We don't know how much of this bottle is taken up, but we do know that it's at least tied for the most. So that's super disappointing to me. I think that they had a really good shot to do something really nice in stores on Amazon. And that first one just kind of blows it for me. But I did try it. I did try it several times actually. And it was okay. My beard styled okay. I have it in beard today. My beard does not look terrible. It, it looks dang near good, right? There's a few things. The main things that I experienced though, is it leaves a little bit for, I don't want to say flyaways, but almost like static. It's hard to explain, but my beard kind of like frizzes out a bit and that doesn't happen on normal days. I'll use this like today 
it'll be all frizzy, and then I'll use a different oil, one that I love the next day, and it's gonna be a little bit more compact and dialed in, actually probably a lot more <laughs> compact and dialed in. So that's a weird experience I have. I don't know what explains it, but it doesn't make my beard overly itchy or dry like some of the terrible products out there. It doesn't make my beard feel like a greasy disco ball mess like shining in the sun everywhere. I don't have either of those. It's just kind of, eh, it's all right. It's all right. It's not, not good, but not bad. It's just eh, in there. If it didn't have that soybean oil, I'd be much more apt to recommend it, even with that like kind of okay feeling because when we look at the stores, when we look at Amazon, we don't have a ton of great options. We do have better options. There are plenty that I would recommend over this. If you're in a store, we know you have Honest Amish. At Target, you have Goodfellows. You have Shea Moisture. You have Bulldog. All of those are like budget-friendly products that have really good ingredients and none of them have soybean oil. So for me, I'm glad to see the trajectory of Gillette. They got better. Am I a fan of the company? Am I a fan of some of their marketing approaches in the past? No, I'm not. Am I a fan that they are a heavily based shaving razor company? Maybe some contradictions with their products. I, I don't know where I stand on that. However, I like where they're going. I hope that they're listening. I hope that they take it one step further. And I do believe replacing that one ingredient, that soybean oil could make all the difference in the world, but they're on the right step. Can I recommend this to somebody that's new? Somebody that's on a budget, somebody that's looking for something that's gonna be easy and quick? No. I cannot recommend this. I believe anywhere you're gonna to go to get this, there's going to be a better option with a very similar price, and that's just for me. The smell on this, by the way, solid. It's a kind of a natural light cologne, a little bit subtle, not bad at all. So improved, but not good yet. Those of you out there, I know we're gonna have lots of people that have tried this, give your thoughts. If this rocks for you, cool. If you don't mind the soybean oil, cool. If you do have strong, passionate thoughts about soybean oil, leave those down as well. Let's have a good, productive, positive, constructive uh, comment section and conversation going on. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those based on my thoughts and my experiences. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded Stay. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> stay bearded and stay positive. A little bit of you. Probably some peanut butter. Who knows what's going on? See you guys. Have a great day.